He will. He's done it again. Hey y'all. We appreciate you stopping by Crowded Docu View. You know, just giving us a little taste of your life and you know everything like that. So, uh, for the people who don't know you, you need to know it. But for the people who don't know you, give them a little background about you. Here you are. Okay, so hi. For all of y'all that don't know me, I am Princess Bree. I am Princess Bree official on Instagram. Um, I just dropped the I just dropped the album entitled Late Night Special on all platforms. So make sure y'all go get that. Um, yeah, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, I model, I pose, I like to do videos, and I write for people. I just, I do it all. You're just in the industry. You know yeah. I, mean? I like that, you know, you can't, you don't have to be, you know, just somebody to just do one thing. Exactly. Whatever you're good at, do it, you know what I mean? Exactly. So I just want to start from the beginning, you know, how did you get into music and, and what age was that? Okay, so I, I've been singing my whole life, but actually starting music, finishing my first song, and all of that. I think uh, it was in 2018 or 19. It was in 2018 or 19, so very recently. I was 18 or 19 years old. And um, that's when I actually got into music because that's when my life felt like I did not want it no more. That's when I felt like there's no point in this and no more. And I, then I remember when I sung, that did what I needed it to do. <laughs> so it just made me feel better. So I got into music about, yeah, 2018, 2019. That's dope. So, so how'd you get in? Did you just start dropping songs or mix? You know, not mixtapes, but R&B is not mixtapes. Did you just start dropping songs okay. on YouTube? Or? So my first two songs were, they was not, I'm not gonna say depressing, but you felt them because it came from pain. That's how I started doing music. That all came from pain. I know y'all hear my album, it's like, ooh. But my first two songs was from pain. I dropped those two on SoundCloud first. And then I dropped um, another song, which is off of, off of platform. But I dropped it on um, TuneCore, so it was on Apple Music and stuff like that. And it did good. And it's still on, both songs are still on uh, SoundCloud. It's called Dear Self and Voicemail. They sound deep. <laughs> uh, so, so those like a real experience, uh, you know, uh, brought those songs out. I can't say what really just made me get the confidence to do this music stuff. That gave me the confidence to even put this album out. Um, my song, Dear Self, it, it's basically like a letter that I told myself. It's a letter that I looked in the I looked in the mirror and I told myself this because it's, it says I told myself I'm never losing me again. And that's what I felt like I did. When I when I started music is when I felt like I, I found who I am again. And I felt like myself. I felt like I was supposed to be where I was when I started this. So. So, I mean, it's all good. You know, for you to start in 2018, 2019, and then 2021, you already seem like a seasoned vet. You already winning competitions. You already got people crying in the audience yeah. with your music. It, you know, do you think you was just gifted that? Do you, do you come from a background of singers like your family, you know? Okay, so I always say this shit in me, it ain't on me. I'm sorry if I cuss, but I always say that because I feel like I'm made to do this. Because when I get on stage, I feel like that's home. You know, a lot of people get stage fights. No, I don't want to go up there. I'm excited. Man, I'm going to go up there and do this. Uh, my mom sing, my sister sing, my aunt, uh, my aunt Lisa on my dad's side sing, my aunt Beverly sing, child. 
Yeah, we got some fingers. <laughs> we definitely got some fingers in the family. Okay. So, you know, uh, you're working with the manager, my man, Messiah. Mm -hmm. How, do you think, did you start off with a manager or? You start I started off, with, off doing okay, so, all me. So, tell the people who are watching, like, what's the difference between doing it, trying to do it on your own and having a manager? Because people want to throw off managers like they don't mean anything. Okay, so I can't say this as a female. I'm speaking from a female's perspective. Having a manager and not having a manager is two totally different things. Me being a female, me not having a manager and me having to actually talk to these people and set up this stuff for myself and do all of this stuff is an easier chance they try to mess me over because this industry and I'm pretty. It's just that a lot of times it don't work, especially them working with a female. I'm the artist, is this just me? So a lot of people feel like they, they can get over you. With Messiah, it's like, Messiah, bro, you got an interview Wednesday. I ain't who? With who? Like, I didn't, I didn't have to hit these people up. I didn't have to, they can't mess me over because they not actually talking to me. You know, a lot of people get, they feel like that they dealing with a female, it's like, oh yeah, I'm finna get her. That's easy. But with Masai, he ain't gonna let it happen. He not gonna let none of that happen in this straight business. He gonna make sure I get paid. And he gonna make sure that they, you know, this this, this genuine, this real. He ain't gonna put me in no situations to where it's, why the hell did I do this? You know? So it's like, yeah, I, I like having a manager because you less accessible. Less accessible, uh, if I'm saying that right. But they can't really get in contact with you. And that's good as an artist, a lot of the time. Feel it, man, and, and uh, before we leave the manager subject, man, y'all got a dope team, you know, with Messiah, man. You, I'm Justified, Ratchet Blues, man. How mm -hmm. does it feel, you know, having an all-star team like that, and you know, working with them? Well, it's fun, but as y'all know, I'm the only girl, so it's like. I don't know, it's, it's really like fun, and I love them so much, like like seriously, Ratchet Blues, Justify, everybody, Baby Trill, everybody, I love them so much, and it's like, I got bodyguard, because <laughs> I'm the only female, and the men, like, they hard, and it's like I, like, I like the fact that I'm a part of a team to where not, you can't hear one of the artists and be like, why is he? I don't like that we all fit each other. We all like we all complement each other as a team. Now I'm not just saying as artists, but as a team, we complement each other. We put in the work. We are very talented, and we all believe in each other. So it's like, yeah, I like it. So I do. So as an R&B artist, you know, I know you have goals and aspirations. Like, what a what a what is success to you? What level is that? Or you know, is it accolades? Is it you know money? What is it? Um, it's a lot of different meanings to success to me. I feel like success is being wealthy, success is being at peace. Success is being as big as you want to be. Success is being one verse, but I mean one voice, but the whole world just heard what you had to say. Success is touching a million people and it's just you talking through one screen or one concert or one show. Success is being at peace and knowing who you are and actually loving who you are and living in your skin like you're supposed to be. Living your damn life, living your best life. That's what success is for me, being wealthy, being where you at, being comfortable in your skin, being, comfortable, uh, being confident, being you. That's what it is to me. All right, so tell us about the project that you have out right now and, and future projects that maybe you can give us a hint about, you know, that we might not, you know, understand or, you know, let yeah. us know what you got going on. Okay, so my my uh, album that I have out now that I just dropped in February is entitled Late Night Special. Um, if y'all haven't heard it, it's very intimate and sexual. It's not, it don't give you hope, but it gives you, I want to cater to my man. Or uh, it, it gives you... I wanna, I wanna go do some flowers or something. Like you know, it give, it give you a good ass vibe. And it, I, I wrote that album just from. I, I, I be in the mood, child. I ain't even gonna lie. I wrote that album just from past experiences. Just thinking, you know how you just out of nowhere you just get a flashback and be like, damn, that was fun. That's how I wrote the album. <laughs> I wrote the album like that. But my upcoming stuff that's going on, I'm. 
it's gonna, it, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna just move away from the intimacy, but I am gonna let y'all know a little bit more who I am, why I am like I am, why I'm the artist, why did I even start being an artist? What happened in that time of my life that made me feel like it's either music or you dead? Like, and that's how it is. That's what my next, that's what's coming up. And I can't wait for y'all to hear that. Like, yeah, cause that's out, that's, that's very new for me. It's crazy, I mean, you know, artists with, with all these different talents, you know, that's dope. Uh, so you say you write music, do you, you know, write for other people? Mm -hmm. I know we're not gonna drop no names, but mm -hmm. you write for other people and things like that? Uh, I definitely, I wrote a couple of songs for people and I'm starting to get more into that. I write uh, a lot of rap songs. I, li I write, um, you know, singing songs. If you give me a topic or how you just, just tell me how I can relate to a lot of shit. I've been through a lot. So if you give me a topic, I want to talk about this. I will write you a bomb song. I will do it quickly too. And, and I, I find it easier for me to write other people's music than for me to write my music and that's only because the stuff I've been through, I don't, I need to get out of that, but I don't like to talk on that and I don't like to tell people what's going on. So if it's in somebody else's song, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna write this song and I'm gonna run this song. But when it's with me, it's, that's what I'm trying to get into next, which is my next project. That's what I'm trying to get into next. Letting y'all know the insides and how I feel and act, what actually happened. What's going on? Why? You know, just, yeah, but I definitely write for a lot of people. Wow, and that's male and female, right? Male and female. All right, so, you know, y'all need a hot 16, a hot 32, whatever. It's your girl. It's free, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, before we, we, we leave here, I want you to give, like, the up-and-coming artists, you know, somebody, you know, maybe they, they haven't started yet. Maybe they haven't put their song on, not SoundCloud, but Crowded Streaming. Mm -hmm, but maybe exactly. they haven't put that first song out. You know, what advice would you give somebody like that? Don't worry about everybody. Now, it is some people that you need a no man. You need a no man. So they'll be able to let, to let you know if your music sounds good. But... Don't get so caught up in what everybody else doing and how they sound and, and, and where they come from and, and just how other people are. You need to focus on your journey. What makes us artists and what makes us good artists is our originality. We, a lot of people is not good artists just because they sound like and they do this and they do all of that. People really get into you just by knowing who you are. Can't nobody tell who you are unless it's just you. So forget everybody, you put confidence in your music and put your soul in your music. This means something. Don't worry about nobody, period. That's crazy, man. And Princess Bree, man, you know, I only saw her two times in person and both times she won the competition. Won a competition at Wolf's Den, won a competition tonight. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just a winner, you know what I mean? Exactly. Dope music, make sure y'all go check out her, her album on all streaming platforms, soon to be on crowded streaming also, you know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Go get with Messiah. But uh, anybody want to shout out before we head out? God first, because he saved me, man. And I just want to shout out to everybody that support me. My right hand man, Mariah, everybody. I love my best friend, Rayanna. She gonna make sure she there. They gonna make sure they got me. And I, I ain't gonna lie. Another thing, don't worry about who don't support you. The people that's around you that support you is who you really need to need to be focused on. It's them the people that's gonna go up with you. Your check ain't for everybody and your wealth ain't for everybody. The people that's behind you is who down. Don't worry about the people that ain't showing up and that's not watching and that's not. Forget them people, be grateful because some people don't even have one person. So just be cool with that. <laughs> Man, so Princess Bree, we wanna thank you for stopping by crowded and, and getting into our docu view so we look forward to following your career and seeing bright things i see nothing but light coming from you so thank you and uh, make sure y'all go check out her music make sure y'all go do that follow me on instagram at princess brie official thank y'all keep this on and down low hey. kissing hugging screaming touching fit it all in me that stuff it one more shot here need for good luck and we should keep this on the down low, real low, real low. This liquor taking control. Oh, kissing, hugging, screaming, touching. When you be pulling my hair, I love it, and I know you love it when I said you're touching it. Ooh, yeah, right.
want it now. 